This is the 1v1v1 Mystery Box Fishing Challenge. There he is. That, is, that feels like a good one. There he is. I got one, yes! Oh no! We have three mystery boxes filled with fishing lures planted around the pond. Tara is gonna get a box, Big Steve is gonna get a box, and your boy Noah is also gonna get a box. We have three hours on the clock. Whoever catches five fish on five different baits wins the challenge. You want tackle box number one, tackle box number two, or tackle box number three? I feel like three's furthest away, so it probably has the best stuff. What do you think? And I'm faster than them, so <laughs> it's gonna take them all day to get to the other side of the pond. So I'll, I'll take the all right, tackle three, box all three. The way in the back, yeah. So Tara's gonna walk a mile and go get tackle box number three. Daddy Van Dam, what do you want? <laughs> I'm taking number one because I am number one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'll take number two, guys. That's my lucky number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the middle between both of them. You are taking a number and two <laughs> after today. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't know, Daddy Van Dam's actually allergic to fish. So either me or Tara got to take the fish off for him, but he's got these big old talons of pliers right here <laughs> i'm gonna try to do this without any help today so he's allergic to the fish slime <laughs> so he he can't like they can't even splash on him or anything or we're probably gonna have to take a visit to the er <laughs> we don't really want to go to the hey, er if today. i go to the er does it make me the winner instant I mean, win yeah i'll give you the win if you go to the <laughs> er <laughs> i'll feel bad for you just have to give it to you before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button Really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. So whoever wow. gets five fish on five different baits wins the challenge. Let's go ahead and get it started, baby. Let's go. You know who's winning. Let's check out my tackle box with all my mystery baits in it. Fluke is my bait. That's gonna be the first thing I tie on. Got a chatter donk in here. That'll probably be number two. I'm gonna tie on my fluke and I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna bust a move, move as fast as I possibly can. You guys, we got further to go. We're running. All right, boys and girls, Tara got a little quick start. She ran all the way to that far corner and it looks like she cannot find the tackle box. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my tackle box? I can't. It's honestly sitting right in the open over there. Oh my gosh, I passed it. I'm blind. Okay. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna be hidden. I was treating this like a, an Easter egg hunt. I was looking for it in the bush. And we don't know what's inside of these tackle boxes yet. So here's my tackle box in the middle of the pond. Daddy Van Dam started at the closest one, but let's go ahead and open this puppy up and see what we got. Oh boy. Oh baby, that is looking spicy. We got a bunch of different baits, a lot of different options. So all we have to do is catch a fish on five of these baits. We probably have 15 different types of baits in this tackle box. So starting up top, we have some of these little white grubs. That's that's always a good bait. You can catch them anywhere on that. We got a mock shad right here, two mock shads actually. We got the mock shad 120 and then we got a mock shad 90. We got a square bill crankbait, have some hooks and bullet weights. Got a couple jigs, a jerk bait. We got a popper boys. Listen, I would love to catch a top water fish today. And uh, I'll tell you, that would be really exciting. We got a red lipless crankbait behind that. We have a green pumpkin crawl. We have one of the mock sticks. And we also have one of the mock crawls. And by the way, the mock crawls and the mock sticks just released on Tackle Warehouse. If you guys wanna check them out, click the link down below in the description. These baits have been catching me a lot of fish this spring. So make sure you go check them out. And then we got some white flukes. That is always a killer bait. It does not matter the time of year. And then we got a couple chatter donks that are down here so those are our bait options let's go ahead and go through this let's strategize and pick out the bait that we want to start off with definitely going to rig up the texas rig first that is my go-to so we got a gorgeous crawl probably gonna start with this i love this color dark blue little sparkle on there so i really want to catch a fish on this popper today guys i just think top water would be a blast i don't have braid on i have fluorocarbon but I don't think that would be too big of a hassle. But to be honest with y'all, I've been smoking them on the mock crawl. That has been my, my bed fishing bait this year so far. So we're gonna go with this bad boy. And this is just black and blue, pretty simple. And I actually already have a Texas rig tied up on my rod. So that just makes it convenient for us. But let's go ahead and rig up this black and blue mock crawl, baby. So just because I'm in the middle of the pond, my dad's over there on the left and Tara's over here on the right. Doesn't mean that we can't fish the whole pond. It's just our starting sections. So we can walk wherever we want. 
So I had this mock crawl rigged up on a three aught extra wide gap hook and a quarter ounce tungsten bullet weight. We are actually in Atlanta. So we're a little north from where I usually fish, but the weather's been so nice and I'm actually already seeing some beds here. So the first thing I'm gonna do off the rip of this video is I'm actually gonna walk the bank, guys. We're gonna see if we can see any of these bass on bed. Like there's a bed right there. I don't see any fish. There might be one nearby. You know, the bed fishing has been off the charts by my house down in South Georgia. And there's some beds here. We just got to see if we can spot some of these big bass. Oh my gosh, they're blowing up on bait fish, dude. What is going on here? I have never seen so many bass in one area in my life. If I can just get one to bite, that fish is right on his bed right here but he just keeps pulling off it's not like he's locked his hot spot seems to be right there i'm just gonna let it sit there for a minute see if he can pull back up so i tied on my fluke i'm running it weightless with a hook i tried just the white there was a white um ice in there but i tried just a straight white and i'm seeing some activity running around with smaller fish so this is the shallow end down here. I'm going to toss a few in the shallow end and start working my way out to the deeper side and see what we can get done here. And, dude, I, the reason I started with a fluke is because I have a lot of confidence in a fluke. I fish a fluke a lot, and as far as a springtime bait, I think it's really hard to beat. I really want you guys to do me a solid. Start poking some comments out there. Hashtag bring, bad, bring dad back. See if you can't get this boy to take me fishing a little bit more. Guys, we had a fish pushed up and I could just see him swimming in circles, but he would not eat it. I have one in the corner that I'm just watching swim in circles, but I could not get him. Is he on bed? Oh, there's there's a nice one right here. Oh, he's gonna eat. He, oh, I just spooked him. He got it. Oh, he stole my crawl, dude. That was a good one too. Look, he took my crawl right off my dang Texas rig. We've got to run back to the tackle box and get another one of these mock crawls. Gosh, dude, finally got a bite and he just took it right off. Let's see if the chatter don't can do some work. Noah's over there messing with another bed fish. So it tells me all those fish must be up shallow that he's looking at. And I'm gonna go out a little deeper and let the bait sink. Just an adjustment, see if they'll actually chase this thing or not. Oh, oh no, gosh, dude, I actually stuck that one. Dude, these bed fish kill me sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, guys, we're gonna walk a little further onto the southern side of the bank and see if we can spot any other bed fish. We'll be on the lookout when we're walking down too. I can't believe I messed up on this two fish, guys. Yep, yep, I got one, yes! Oh, this feels good. Let's go, first fish of the day. Oh, whew! Tara's on board first. That's a pretty good fish. <sighs> well, Tara got the lead, boys. I should not be so excited about this fish, but I am. I'm actually beating the boys now. I'm I'm the first one to, I, I didn't know if Noah had caught a fish or not, but I'm the first one on the board. Thank you, buddy, so much for biting. Yeah, well, Terry's got her first fish. I lost my chatter donk. Don't ask me what's going on around here because I'm not getting it done. That's a heavy rooster tail, but might as well give this thing a shot and see what happens. What do I want to put on? Do I want to keep the Texas rig on? Do I want to try a popper? I might try this little thin, purple thing here. Maybe if I get one or two more fish, then I'll try the popper as well. Just trying to play it safe. All right, guys, we got some work to do. Tara just caught the first fish and we're gonna go deep in the woods here. I brought my tackle box with me just in case, but there's a bunch of trees back up in here. And this could be a little secret gym while these fish are bedding. Tara's on board though. Me and Daddy Van Dam gotta catch up. Uh oh, Noah's trying to get up in the woods and be slick. There's my rooster tail. Let's see what happens. There's not much that we can fish back here. And it's kind of hard to see because of the shade. We're going to make some flips around this area. Let's 
gonna be hard to hook set in all these trees it looks like she caught that fish off the bank too which might be a little better because these bed fish are just being finicky not saying that we can't catch any of them but when you miss an opportunity like i did it's kind of hard to come back from that i could have caught one or two fish off that bed and happened to miss them there he is there he is there he is good old handy dandy rooster tail Big Steve's on board now. We have to catch this fish. We cannot mess up here. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go in the water. Go in the water. Go in the water. Go in the water. <laughs> He's splashing me and everything. 53 years old, and that's how I got to fight a fish to get him in the water because I'm allergic to him, folks. But it is what it is. At least I got one on the board. Now I'm going to throw this little mock swim bait. Maybe a moving bait will work after all today. I am in last place right now. Tara's got a fish, Big Steve's got a fish. I gotta redeem myself right now. Dude, come on. There she goes. She got it. She broke me off. She literally just broke me off. Dude. Oh. You know what? I didn't retie either. Gosh dang it, man. I am not having a good start to this challenge, guys. Had a fish eat my crawl, totally missed her. Threw back in, hooked a fish, she came off. Finally get a good one right here in this woods right here. Traveled all the way in the forest and she snapped me off, man. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to get her to bite again, man. But that's just, oh, that kills me, dude. I've had three opportunities and haven't got to capitalize on one. And in a small pond like this, you have to capitalize on the moment, especially when there's a lot of us fishing. There's actually another dude fishing in the other corner where I started. We're going to tie back on, guys. We got to lock it in, man. We got we cannot have any more mistakes if we're going to have any shot at winning this challenge. He ate it, Patty. He ate it. Ah, uh, yeah, buddy. Oh, I did not think I was going to get him. See, I thought maybe if I put a smaller, we're gonna do it. You don't see that every day. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted with that. Um, I put on a smaller bait for him because I, no I noticed he was a smaller bass just going in that circle. So I thought maybe the craw was a little too big, a little smaller, I could dangle it in front of his nose. He would bite it and he did. Second fish of the day. Thank you, buddy. Tara might have just caught another fish too. Gosh. All right, let's lock in, boys. Lock in right now. No more mistakes from here on out. Hopefully this fish just pulled back up and I happen to just, I don't know. It's not looking good, man, but maybe, just maybe she'll be up there wanting to bite again. Let's see. Oh, dude, she's still up there. Dude, she seems interested. All right, the fish is circling around. She definitely has a hook in her mouth. Yeah, she keeps opening her mouth. I'd like to catch her and get that hook out. The most realistic thing. She's acting like she wants to bite it again. Dude, please bite it. I can get this hook out of your mouth and everything. Oh my God. She's up on it. She's mad. Here she goes. She ate it. I got her. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay, she doesn't have the hook in her mouth. This fish got me all muddy, man. <laughs> oh, it's a brute. Hold on. What is this extra line here? Oh no, she does have the hook and she swallowed it. She swallowed it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pulling it out. Hold on. We might be able to save this fish. I cannot believe she ate it again. That is my other bait in her mouth, guys. We're gonna take this soft plastic out so we can see. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to get this hook out, guys, and save this fish. There we go, guys. We literally broke this fish off, hooked her again somehow, and got the hook out of her gullet. And we might have just saved that fish. Thank you so much for biting again, baby. Look at her. She's active. She's chilling. Oh my gosh, right back on bed. That is amazing. I could not tell you another time that I've done that. And we got one bait knocked off the list. 
and Tara has a third fish. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh we got some air. Come on, get up here. They're loving the self plastic. Come on. No, what happened? Let's go. Did you see the air he got? This might be my biggest one of the day. I was shaking. Tara's been going crazy. I want to say she is about to start on bait number four, which means we have a lot of ground to cover. Those mistakes that we've had all day have really hurt us here, but that is okay. We just have to lock in and I'm just going to continue to fish soft plastics for a minute. We actually have this green pumpkin, just normal speed crawl that we're going to use just because they were biting that mock crawl so good. If I can at least get another crawl bait knocked out, that would be sick and get us on the bait number three. So here goes bait number two, boys. Simple Texas rig again with a little green pumpkin crawl. Let's keep it moving. On to my fourth bait. We got three fish in. I have a really good feeling. I feel like I'm gonna get smoked right here. I feel like I'm gonna work it in. It's gonna get bait right away. So before we move out of this spot, I kinda wanna walk back over here because there's gotta be another fish on bed, guys. There just has to be. And maybe we can catch that fish a third time. No, <laughs> Just imagine a fish for the same fish again. I feel kind of bad. I want him to do his thing, man. We ain't, we ain't going to throw at him again. Unless there's a female bass on bed, but I don't think there is. There's got to be some more beds in this area, though. Uh, oh, I got another one. I'm on my fourth fish. Let's go. Come on. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Get up there. <laughs> Steve said I'm catching them all. And that's my fourth fish. Thank you so much, baby. No freaking way. Tara already hooked her fourth fish. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. That bank's loaded. And we got to get over there. All right, we're going to grab our tackle box. And we're working back over there. There's too many fish. And if we don't, she's going to end up catching our fifth fish before we even get anything else. All right, guys, we made it back over here to where we started. We're gonna flip around here for a little bit. Tara is already on our fifth bait. That's ridiculous. Me and Big Steve gotta catch up. So we're getting our bus kicked right now. So you got one? Yeah. I got one too. I'm hunting. What'd you catch it on? I crawl. What are you fishing with now? So I broke, uh, I'm fishing with a different crawl. Well, that don't count as another bait. Well, she caught a whole four of hers on worms. What are you talking about? What? It's a whole different branded crawl. And a oh, different color. God dang. What? That's here. cheap. I'm over right. switching bait. Tara, we got, we got a protest. So how many worms did you use? He's saying you can only use a, one worm. What? If it's, a, if it's a different brand, I always count it. <laughs> I always count it if it's a different two brand. Them, two of them were the same worm, but I, oh. these, these are different. I had a purple one, a curly tail, and then the blue. No, no, no. You're supposed to use no, a different No, the blue baits. crawl. Look. A crawl, crawl. and a worm is a different bait. I mean, that's this that's different. Bait. That's different baits. And then and then a the last one was the same. I mean, yeah, I no, one. those are different I baits. Caught, I caught one on a rooster tail, if, so I could throw a okay. different color rooster tail. If the same no. was the same. Okay, what well, was the, the difference? That's a finesse worm. That's a big curly tail worm, and that's a senko. Those They're are three all worms. I get the wrong. Those are three different baits. Crawl's different. A crawl's different than a worm. Yeah, a crawl's different than a worm. Those are different worms. Well, I thought we, maybe I what thought I'm doing. We all had okay. different bases. We had to run different. Okay, bases. okay, okay. So with what I was doing, technically what I was doing, I can't do if we're playing them by those rules. So this is what I was gonna do. I if if we're if we're going this way, then I can't do this. So I was going from this to this. I technically can't do that. See, I was gonna do this that is, as well. It crawls across. Yeah, it crawls across. So I can't do but that. But they were different colors, so I thought I could have done that as well. I, I can't do this, but the, I mean, I feel like that is a finesse worm, a senko, and a big worm. I mean, they are different. All right, boys, we're going with the old Sanko. And I agree, like like that crawl, like if I was using the mock crawl and then just switch to a zoom crawl, that that is, that is, yeah. I don't agree with that. Well, what Tara did, I feel like the finesse worm, the big worm, and the Sanko, I mean, they're, they're different. They're different. But let us know below what you guys think. We got some controversy up in this episode, boys. Getting deep, getting crazy. But I'm going to make a comeback here. I don't know if you guys can see this fish swimming, but he's just, he's all over the place. Right when he swims away, he goes right back. Look, this fish is catchable. Oh. <clears throat> he just ate it, took off, and I just happened to hold up to not hook set. 
All he had was a tail, dude. He actually ate it that time. Maybe changing up the angle here. Oh my gosh, there's another one on the bed out there. Dude, this fish might eat it right away, guys. He just ate it. And he freaking didn't have it all the way. Dude, these bad fish are killing me, man. They're killing me. I didn't hook them, which is good. Let's see if he bites it again. Both of these fish are catchable. I'm just afraid if I catch one, the other one won't bite, but this guy's about to eat it right now. Here he goes. Dude, he just, they're not eating it, bro. They're grabbing it. This is exactly what they're doing. Grabbing this backside and just not getting the hook, which is good. Like this one's super aggressive, dude. This one, I'll probably catch him on this third cast here. Let's see. Oh, he's already going up. He ate it. I got him. Let's go. Come on now. Making the comeback. Second fish, baby. That was three flips. So I've been fishing for that other one for like 20 minutes now. That was three flips on the same fish and he bit me every single time. And I try to get this fish on the bank really quick and not make a ruckus. Cause I might be able to catch this other one on bed. So we're gonna go release this guy. Make sure we don't spook this other fish and we might be able to get him to bite. Thank you so much, buddy. There he goes. Let's go, boys. We're back in it. So we gotta catch three more fish to win the challenge. Two more fish to tie Tara. And she just needs one more bite to win it. All right, that's two. Two different baits. Let me see if this flyer trick will work here. Come on off there for me. Good job. All right, that's the summer crawl. That bait will catch them anywhere. I think we're gonna go and uh, try this pink worm now. See if I can catch my third fish on the, the old pinky. Stinky pinky, that's what I'm gonna call you. Come on, come through for me, stinky pinky. Big Steve's at two, I'm at two, Tara's at four. Will Tara seal the deal, or is me or Big Steve gonna come back and take the lead? We're gonna find out here, this is getting crazy. Tara had such a big start. And we're cutting off the Texas rig, boys. And I have this little jig here. I think that fish over there on bed, that's right next to the one I just caught, might be enticed by this jig. This is just a little bitsy flip by Strike King. Really basic, tiny jig. Perfect for these beds. All right, there we go. Here goes nothing. Let's get back over there. So for my last bait, I've used all soft plastics. I wanna go with the popper. I've caught my biggest fish on a popper. I wanna crank it out today for my finale fish. This would be my first top water fish of the season. Let's see how it does. Guys, another fish is on that far bed too that I caught that first one on. I don't know if, it's, if that's the same fish I caught. That might be a different fish on that bed. It could have been the male and the female. Yeah, she's still there. She's coming right up to my jig. She's right up on that jig. She ate it. Oh my gosh. Just had it. Look, took one of my pinchers. This is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Fish is so aggressive. She's right up on it again. Oh my gosh, come on. No way that's the same fish, right? I don't think it is. No, nah, that's a different fish, guys. No freaking way on the same bed that we just caught that one and we're three fish deep now. Daddy Van Dam is on two fish. Tara's on four and your boy's on three. We're making a comeback here. We're gonna put this baby back in the water. I don't think that that's the same fish, guys, is it? I would be mind blown because she is so aggressive. Thank you, baby. Thank you. There she goes. Right back to the bed now. Let's get on to bait number four. We got that jerk bait. We got a popper. We could rock a fluke. The hard body jerk bait. We have the mock shad. We have a popper. But we also have this little jig head with the white grub. And to be honest with you guys, I think this bait would work wonders on the bed. It'd also be really easy for us to see 
you know, with today being pretty windy, it's kind of hard to see these fish, especially eat the bait. So this white color can actually be beneficial to us. You know, we'll be able to see it easy in the water. When the fish eats it, you can kind of see the color disappear. And then we're good from there. Well, let's go ahead and tie this up, see if we can get our fourth fish. And then for the fifth and final fish, we're gonna go a little out there. Oh my gosh! Let's go, dude! Let's go! Tara, we're tied. That was literally one cast over here on the white grub, boys. Oh my gosh. And that is fish number four for me. And it's time for us to get our fifth bait. There we go, boys. One more bait and one more fish to catch. We bring home the trophy, baby. Can't be letting me come back, Tara. All right, guys, we got that fourth bait knocked off the list and we're moving on to our final bait. We are tied with Tara now. She had a crazy lead on me and Big Steve and it's looking pretty crazy now. She's, she better catch her fish. I really want to fish with the top water, but at the same time, this challenge is so close and I would like to pick out something that I think I can just get a bite on pretty quick. And if I had to pick out one bait, it's probably going to be this fluke. So we're going to tie this fluke on, tie a little extra wide gap hook and uh, see if we can catch our final fish and finish off this challenge. Just like that weightless fluke, guys. Catch fish at any time of year. Let's go ahead and get after it. All right, boys, I made it on this side. This is actually Big Steve's tackle box because we got an interview. Mr. Big Steve. Oh, no. What's going on, man? I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> 12 on one, you happy, any? <laughs> What's been going on, man? <laughs> I've been getting my butt smoked. It's been tough. The wind's blowing in here, so I thought it would blow in here with him. I caught one, changed the baits. I got a little bitty uh, pink Cinco on. I've been calling Stinky Pinky. <laughs> and uh must be too stinky because the fish aren't eating it. So, honestly, I'm about to change up baits and try something moving again. See what happens. So, Tara ended up catching four. We thought it was going to be over right off the rip. Now, I'm at four. So, whatever bite she gets or I get, it's over. So, you guys and are you're at four two. and I'm at two. So, but I you really could, you, listen. Anybody could catch up in this tournament here. How am I going to catch that many fish that quick? I don't know, man. I don't know, but I'll tell you, I'm going to let you have this corner because this corner is looking saucy. I'm going to go back in the woods. I had some crazy luck back here. You know, guys, I broke that fish off. I got lucky enough of hooking the same fish. I have never, I might have done that once before in the last 10 years. And if you ask me, it seemed like bad luck breaking off that fish. But after the redemption of catching them again, it seems like some pretty good luck. So we're going to fish back up in here some more and see if we can finish off this challenge with the W on the fluke, baby. Let's get it. There he is. About time. The big old dummy got one. Big Steve got him another. Is that what I just heard? Maybe I need to help him get it off. He's been, he's been full of this today. See if he needs any help. We don't know what's happening. All right, sit still for me. Sit still for me. Come on, be cool. Be cool. Don't splash me. Be cool. What do we got going on, dude? <laughs> I thought I was coming back to win, and now you're three fish deep. This is looking like it's anybody's ball game, guys. There's Big Steve's third fish. Well, I'm four fish deep. Big Steve's three fish deep. Tara's four fish deep. It's anybody's ball game, man. Come on, guys. Pray for me. It's four, three, four and four to three. So I got to at least catch this last one. Oh. What? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Guys, that is my first bite way off the bank today. Like a big brush pile out there. And I was just, did you miss one too? They're just short striking it. Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I'm getting, I'm getting smoked out there. Look at that. Right out there on that dang brush pile. This is the winning fish right here, boys. It's got teeth marks all over that bait. We're getting the job done right here. Come on. Come on. This is it. This is game over. Prepare yourselves, boys. Don't look away. It's about to happen right here. There he is. That's, that feels like a good one. No way. Look at that. Look at that, Tara. 
I'm sorry, but that's the winning fish, and it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Look at that, girl. You cheated. I cheated? Yes, I got smoked out there three times, boys. That right there, guys, is fish number five on bait number five. And that completes the comeback challenge right there. Thank you, baby. Let's go. Congrats, Noah. I'll just kick your butt next time. That's all I got to say about that.